Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Hotpoint NDBE9635 washer dryer. And what I want to do today is to show you around the washer dryer, some of the features and benefits that it offers. Just before I start, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just give us a quick thumbs up. So as with a lot of washer dryers, the dimensions of the product can really vary and it mainly depends on the load size. On this particular model, it has a capacity of up to nine kilograms. And all I'm gonna do is just to measure it for you, just to check. Because uh, all you want to do is you just want to make sure it will fit in the space. So width wise, that's pretty standard at just under 60 centimeters, around 23 and a half inches. Again, the height, that's around 33 inches, around 84 centimeters. So both of those tend to be pretty standard. Uh, the main thing that can vary is the depth of the appliance. So if you're measuring it to the front corner here, then you're looking at 51 centimeters, or around 20 inches. Uh, if you are going to the minimum installed depth, so that's really where it includes the pipes as well. And if you were going to go to the very front here, then you're looking around 23 inches or around 59 centimeters. So as I just mentioned, just have a quick measure, make sure it'll fit in the space before you buy it. So to turn the machine on, it's really easy. You've just got the on and off button at the bottom left there. Uh, you will see that you've got a really nice clear LED display. Uh, I must say, these are one of the better on the market. If how clear the LED display is really important to you, then personally I'd recommend trying to go into a showroom uh, like ourselves, where we have a lot of these switched on, so you can see the LED display to see how clear it is. Uh, because there are quite a few brands where it's the, the, the writing and the letters are a lot smaller, and the numbers, uh, and some of the symbols are quite difficult to read. Uh, so especially if you suffer with your eyesight, then that could be a really good point to to go and have a look in the showroom. Uh, but the first thing I want to do is just to go and have a look through some of the programs. I'm not gonna cover all of them into detail, uh, but I just wanted to mention some of the programs. Now, the three programs at the top here uh, are what they call wash and dry. So in theory, what you can do is you can just put the clothes in and it'll go through the whole process and it will do the washing and the drying. Uh, so the first one I want to mention is the mixed that it's on at the moment. So. With this one, this is used to, well, as it says, to wash and dry mixed garments, cotton and synthetics in less than four hours. Now, I know some people are thinking, well, four hours seems quite a long time, but don't forget this is doing a wash and dry. The main thing to point out on this one is that it has a maximum temperature of up to 30 degrees. Now, you can go down to 20 if you want to, or even turn the temperature off. So that will just be washing in the temperature of the water that's arriving into the machine. Uh, it doesn't seem to make a difference on the time of the program. So whether it's at 30 or 20 or whether you turn the temperature off, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, really the key for that one is it is down to a 1200 spin as well. Although the spin speed of this machine is up to 1400. Uh, for some reason, Hotpoint have chosen to reduce the spin speed on this one down to 1200. Uh, the next one is the Wash & Dry XL Bed & Bath. Uh, with this one, this is suitable for washing and drying, again, without interruption, uh, things like cotton and bulky items. You will see this is a huge difference in the time, eight and a half hours. Now, these will vary, really depending on the load that you've put in. So if you only put a smaller load in, then that will reduce the time. But as you can see, eight and a half hours is quite a, quite a long wash and drying process. If you have got things like Economy 7, then you can use the like delay timer uh, where you get cheap electricity during the night. That could be a good option to use. Um, or you could even just set it to go before you go to bed and then it's done for when you get up. Uh, that's, uh, uh, I must admit, I hadn't really looked at that time before just to uh, turn the dial to that. So eight and a half hours is quite a, quite a long program. Uh, the main difference on that one is that you can change the time so you can go up to 60 degrees on this one. Uh, and also the spin speed goes 1400, uh, but that's stuck on the 1400. Uh, with the temperature, you can change it in, well, it's in 10 degree increments. So that's really good, actually. Uh, if you reduce the temperature, let's just have a quick check. Yeah, it reduces the time a little bit, but nothing to make a significant difference. So even if you go back up to 60 degrees, then it reverts back to the original eight and a half hours, well, even nine hours, it uh, increases the time. To... And then we'll go the other way. So the, the next one to show you is the wash and dry excess rapid. And with that one, that goes completely the other way to the bed and bath. 
This is really designed for anything up to one kilograms uh, of load. So one kilograms of washing. Uh, so really, really small load. Uh, as far as the temperature on this one, uh, you will find that uh, that goes up to 30 degrees. That's it. So you can only be at 30. Uh, and with that one, it will spin at the full 1400 spin. Uh, personally, I think that's ideal. I'm not quite sure why they've stuck to 1200 in the middle program, the wash and dry mix, because really what you want to try and do is to extract as much water out before it goes through the drying process. Uh, but that's something that Hotpoints have decided. Uh, but with this one, as it says, it's a maximum one kilogram load. So I suppose really the idea is if the kids need a couple of shirts for the morning, um, if you've got up in the morning and the washing hasn't been done for the school run, then you've got 45 minutes to put the couple of shirts in. It'll go through, do the washing and the drying process all in 45 minutes. So that's a really impressive program. And personally, I think that's a program that will be used a lot, especially if you're a parent like me. So they have the main washing and drying programs at the top there. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just show you some of the washing programs. Uh, now you've got the uh, cotton program. So this is one of the few programs that you can wash a full load on. Uh, there are not too many of these programs where you can wash the full nine kilograms, uh, but that on its own is at four hours 20. Uh, and with that one, you can go up to the full 1400. Uh, you will find that if you were to select the drying off, so with that one, uh, that's just the washing only, that's no drying option. Uh, you have got the different options on here, so you can add the drying on at the end if you want to, uh, but again, it does make a huge difference at the time, uh, eight and a half hours. Just while I'm on this bit, where it says the drying level, uh, I'll just show you this button because you've got the uh, three different drying levels. So you've got A3, which is suitable for clothes to be put uh, basically back into a cupboard without being ironed. Then the next option, A2, is ideal for clothes which uh, need to be, well, I suppose don't need to be ironed, uh, but they can go onto a hanger straight away. So it reduces the time straight uh, from eight and a half down to eight hours, 10 minutes. And then as you go down to A1, then you've got the, that's the iron option. So it's suitable to clothes which need to be ironed afterwards. The remaining dampness softens the creases, making them easier to remove. So essentially what it will do is it's called an iron dry option and it will leave the clothes slightly damp so that when you take them out, you can just pop them onto a hanger and it can just make the, the ironing process a lot easier. Now, just before I carry on with the programs around here, a really common question I get asked on washer dryers is how do I do a dry only program? Because it doesn't seem that easy on a lot of the hot point washer dryers that I've covered. So I'll just show you on this one. So if you, as it says, just here, this is a wash and dry, but sometimes you might have done say a hand wash and you just want to dry them. So you've got an option on here called dry only. And if you press that, then as standard for the A3 program, so that's the cupboard dry, then that would take approximately three hours, 20 minutes. Don't forget on here, it uses something called sensor dry. And what that enables you to do is it's basically, when you put the clothes in, it will detect the moisture content and also the load size, and it will actually adjust the time. So don't always take that for gospel that it's gonna be three hours, 20. That will actually adjust normally after around 10 minutes uh, using the sensors that's built into the machine. So if you press the drying level after that, then that goes down to A1, which is the iron dry. Uh, sorry, let's just go back to the beginning on that. So A3, so that one is the cupboard dry and a standard at four hours 15. So I do apologize for that. And then as you go down to A2, which is the hanger dry, then that comes down to three hours 50. And then the next option is the A1, which is the iron dry, and that time comes down to three hours 20. So they're the sensor dry options, and that's using the dry only. The next one is if you keep pressing the button, this is a manual drying process. Now, this is something that I have had customers ask me, why do you think you need a manual drying process? Now, at home, what I tend to do is, and I have covered this in other videos, Rather than putting everything straight into the dryer, 
I personally, I put things out on an error and I'll leave them for say a couple of hours just to take a lot of the moisture out and then put them in the dryer at the end. Now, if everything you put in is almost dry, then the sensors sometimes don't pick it up in a tumble dryer or a washer dryer. So having the manual process, the manual timing is really good option. So as you can see here, it goes down to so 60 minutes, 45 minutes. So it goes down to 30 minutes as the minimum time and then it reverts back to the sensor dry. So in answer to your question, uh, for a lot of people that I've had as far as the comments and other videos, how to use the dry only process, that's the option. So next option is the synthetic. Uh, with that one, so you can change that from 60 degrees and again it goes all the way down to the no temperature option. And as far as the spin speed, that's 1200 and then it reduces down to 400 off if you want to. Uh, and with that one, that has a maximum load of up to four kilograms. Next option is the wool. Uh, of course, you'll find that the temperature on here, it will only go up to 40 degrees, and the maximum spin speed is 800. Uh, delicate programs, uh, with that one, it's 30 degrees, and maximum spin of up to 600. So it's quite a, quite a low spin speed on that one. Uh, then you come around to some of the anti-allergy. Uh, with that one, that can be, so with that one, that's a slightly higher temperature. That can be good if you've got somebody in the household that suffers with allergies. Uh, again, you'll find it's quite a, quite a long program on that one. Uh, but that goes up to the full 1400 spin. Uh, then you've got the anti-stain program. And with that one, that's a 40 degree program. And again, 1400 spin so I would like the programs where you've got the option to spin a full 1400 to try and extract as much water out as possible. Now the one at the bottom here is quite an interesting program this is called steam refresh now this isn't a washing program uh, as it's really saying this is a steam refresh option so the idea is that when you put the clothes in uh, and it, it's a maximum of around two kilograms so it's not a huge load in there uh, but the idea is that if you've had something that's say been in the cupboard for a while or if you've been out to say a pub or restaurant where it's been a bit of a smoky atmosphere uh, then you, all you want to do is you just want to pop your clothes in here and it will leave them slightly damp afterwards so it doesn't necessarily do a full spin on the program as it says it's not going to you're not got the option to change the temperature or the spin but this is just a steam refresh uh, and the best way that Hopper and describe it uh, is that the program refreshes the garments by removing bad odors and relaxing the fibers. And it's meant for dry, unsoiled items. So insert the items that are not dirty and select the program Steam Refresh. And the program makes ironing easier. Then you've got pretty standard programs like Drain, and then you've got the Rinse and Spin. Uh, so that's quite a, quite a standard program on a lot of appliances now. Uh, this one, so this is the wash at 20 degrees. Uh, just have a quick look at this. I must say, I'm cheating a little bit. I'm referring to the instructions. Uh, this is something that is really good and personally I'd recommend. Uh, if Once you get the machine, just have a, go and grab a quick cup of tea or coffee. Have a quick read through the instructions because you could find that there might be a program on here that you might use quite a lot uh, rather than just putting it on a standard quick wash all the time. Uh, so with this one, this is the wash at 20 degrees and as it says in the tin or as it says on the, the machine itself then it's a maximum of 20 degrees and it will go up to full 1400 which again is a really good good way of, of operating uh, and you can wash at the full 9 kilograms so if you have got a full load of the washing that you want to do in a pretty quick time uh, 1 hour 50 compared to some of the other programs is actually pretty quick then, um, then you've got the option here. And really what Hotpoint are doing is they're saying that if you are conscious about the energy, then just wash it at the 20 degrees and it will do everything in just under two hours. Eco 40 to 60 is almost the other way. Uh, again, you can wash the full uh, nine kilograms in this one. Uh, and with that program, you can, uh, well, it's, it's a set program. So it's a set temperature at around 40 degrees. Uh, but with that one, again, you can spin at the full 1400 spin, so it will extract the maximum amount of water out. But at just under four hours, it's quite a long program. But you will find that 
the amount of water consumption. So on that program, you're looking around uh, 59 litres of water. So that's not too bad. Just compare that. So I, I should have mentioned it on some of the programs. So 59 litres of water on that program. If you go back to that program, then according to the instructions, then that will use around 90 litres of water. So it is a huge difference. So although it is quicker, uh, that's using a huge amount of water more. So 90 litres compared to 59. So it's not quite double, but certainly if you're conscious about the amount of electricity or water that you're using, then that could be something to consider. As you go to the next program, the intense 60 to 90. So with that one, as it says, you can go up to 90 degrees. And with that, again, you've got the full 1400, but you can wash everything up to the full nine kilograms capacity. That's really, if you want a, a good, I suppose if you've got kids that uh, play football or rugby and the kits are coming back quite dirty, that's a good option to use. And then the last one is the rapid wash. And uh, with that one, again, that's almost the other end of the scale. So with a rapid wash, that's up to 30 degrees. So you can do anything below that, but 30 is the maximum. And that only goes up to a 1200 spin. So you've not got the option to go up to a full 1400. So now I've covered all of those. Uh, I've covered quite a lot of these anyway. So you've got the temperature option, spin speed, drying level, delay timer. So again, if you've got things like economy seven, then where, where you've got things like cheap electricity during the night, which quite a few people do tend to have, especially in the UK, then that's a good option to, to offer. Uh, I'll just show you that. So this, that most of them will normally go up to 24 hours. Yeah, so 23, 24 hours, and then if press it again, then it switches off. Dry only, I've covered. Key lock, so this is a good option. If you've got uh, little children, or if you've got people in the household that like to come and play with the dials and buttons, then by pressing and holding that for a couple of seconds, then that will light up. And all it means is that you can't change the program. And to disable the child lock, then just press and hold that again for a couple of seconds, and it'll switch it off. Now, one of the final options to show you is this button in here called Steam Hygiene and Rapid. And if I press that, it will only operate on certain programs. So I'll just change it to the Intense 60 to 90. And the Steam Hygiene, uh, what that will do is it generates steam during the wash cycle to remove up to 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria. The steam generated during the operation of the washing machine may cause the porthole to become hazy. Uh, when you press the next option, then that basically reduces the time of the program. Now, the rapid option could be a good option for reducing the time of the wash. And again, it's not on all of them. So if I select the cotton, you can't use it. Uh, you can use the rapid option on there. So the synthetic program. So as standard, it's around two hours, 50 minutes. And to select the rapid, reduce it down to one and a half hours. And that's standard on several of the programs. Uh, and then the final button on here is the start and the pause. So once you've got everything in here, so you've got we detergent in there, put your clothes in, then just press start. Talking about detergent, you've got the drawer on the left-hand side. Now this does open to the left. This is quite standard on a lot of Hotpoint appliances now. Uh, the most common question we get asked is, can this be taken out? And the answer is yes. What you need to do is lift it a little bit and then pull that part of the drawer out. And then you can take that out and just give it a really good wash, give it a good hot soapy wash, either manually or if you wanted to put it in a dishwasher. Then to put the drawer back in, what we need to do is relocate it just at the front here and then just slide it back on and then it just clicks back into place. Then you're ready to go. As far as the door opening, nice and easy. You've got the, uh, something I'm always pleased to say, and if you follow me on YouTube for a while, I'll always point out whether it's got metal hinges and door catches, which fortunately on this model it has. Uh, as far as the porthole size, it is a really good size at 32 centimeters, uh, or just under 13 inches. That's something I think is quite important. There's nothing worse than having a, a good capacity washer or washer dryer like this, and having a really small porthole to get the clothes in and out of. Uh, I suppose it just makes the loading and unloading easier. Also, 
it can really help uh, by not leaving items in there, which can be really frustrating. I'll just quickly show you around the back of the washer dryer. Now this one is quite a standard layout. Uh, first of all, you've got the electric connection at the top left here. You've got the waste connection at the bottom left, and you've also got the water connection at the top right. So it's quite nice that it's spread out nice and evenly for the installation process. Uh, you do get a new hose with it, so that comes with a, a hose. Uh, you will also find that I'll just get the packet because within the packet you get these cheeky little things. Um, a lot of customers have come back to us asking what they're for. And these are designed so that when you take the transit bolts out, these are the transit bolts and they have to be taken out. They hold the drum steady during transit. Um, and before you connect it up, that's the first thing you need to do. If you don't take them out, then what will happen is it will damage the machine and it won't be covered under the manufacturer's warranty. But the idea is, once you take those out, then just pop these in. So just that just clips into place there. And then we'd normally recommend keeping the transit bolts because in the future, if you ever need to move the machine, then at least you've got them already. I'll just point out the engine label on here. Uh, first of all, because you have two sides to these. So if it's just the washing side that you're looking at, then that's rated at a B rating, which that's actually pretty good. Uh, I know you can go to an A, uh, but normally you'd have to pay quite a bit more to get that kind of energy rating on a washer dryer. Uh, so 56 kilowatt hours of uh, energy. Uh, so that's not too bad and 50 liters of water. As you come over to this side, that's for the washing and the drying. As you can see, it makes a huge difference to the amount of electricity used. 307 kilowatt hours of energy per 100 cycles, uh, 65 litres of water, and if you look at the time on here, so these are on a lot of the eco programmes. So for the washing, you're looking at 3 hours 48, and the, for the washing and the drying, 9 hours 20. So it's quite a long time. Uh, I think for a lot of people, if you are going to use some of the washing and the drying programmes in a more energy efficient way, then really you might need to look at how you do your you wash and dry in because at over nine hours you're not going to be able to do many loads in a day. If you are thinking of buying one of these models I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. I hope you enjoyed this quick video on the Hotpoint NDBE9635. Please give us a thumbs up on my YouTube video, click subscribe and leave any comments below. I'd always ask for comments whether it's good or bad about the video. If there's something that you wanted to see on it uh, or if there's any questions then just pop in the comments. Also, if you have got one of these models, or if you have got a hot point washer dryer, let me know what you think about it, because I do always appreciate the feedback. Thanks for watching.